highlight of this week being my birthday week. Today, I'm going to be reflecting on how I'm feeling as I get ready to turn 24. I'm recording this a couple days before my birthday, but if all goes according to plan, you will be seeing this on my actual birthday. Turning 24 is not a milestone of an age. When you turn 13, you're a teenager now. Or when you turn 16, that's like your sweet 16. Or 18, you're legally an adult. Or 20, you're like now entering your 20s. Or 21, now you can drink. 24 is just a regular age. Every age after 21 until maybe like 29 or 30 is like, whatever. It's like not that big of a deal. But for some reason, turning 24 has been like, haunting me. It's kind of getting to a point in your 20s where you're not really like in like the beginning stages of your 20s. You're really starting to push your mid 20s. I have been clinging on to being 23. Like I will say that I am 23 until Saturday, which is when I turn 24. Like I am 23 for as long as I can be. I'm like having a crisis about getting older. I don't want to get older. And I don't know if it's like specifically like I don't want to age or I just don't want like the responsibilities that come with being a full-fledged adult. Like I'm four years into being in my 20s. And next year I turn 25, which is, that's the turning point. 25 is you're halfway to 30. And girl, I'm having a serious crisis. Time is like going by so fast that I literally feel like I'm turning 30 on Saturday. Like, I feel like tomorrow I'm gonna wake up and be like, holy shit, I'm 30 years old. Where the fuck did my 20s go? What did I do? I feel like being 30 is like right around the corner. Time did not used to go by this quickly. I feel like I'm in such a rush. Like, I feel like I need to make every big decision that I'm gonna have to make in my life like right now because I feel like there's not enough time because time is just going by so fucking fast and if I don't think about certain things and mentally prepare myself to make certain decisions the time is gonna come and I'm gonna be like I don't know what to do like I don't know what I want for myself I know what this stems from this stems from this fear that I have and I consider this to be probably the biggest fear that I have and that is, I'm really afraid of getting to the end of my life and looking back on it and feeling like I didn't do enough or I didn't live it to its fullest. I don't want to get to the end of my life and regret the choices I've made or how I chose to live it. I want to make sure that I have the most fruitful life that I can live. And I think this is really contributing to the feeling that I have of being rushed. Like I need to do everything right now and make every big decision right now. For example, I do not need to be thinking about this right now. This is so far in the future for me, but the matter of having children. I've never been somebody who has wanted children. Maybe when I was really little, I thought that was what I wanted because that's just kind of what we're socialized to think as we grow up. Growing up, getting married, starting a family, it's the norm. But as I got older and I started to develop my own beliefs and ideas about life, I came to the conclusion that I do not, in fact, want children. It's been this way for years. I've never swayed until recently. <laughs> like, you don't understand. I fully did one of my psychology final presentations on why you shouldn't have children. I was in this marriage and family class and we got to choose our own final project. And my topic that I chose for myself was why you shouldn't have children, which was honestly so funny because the presentation directly before mine was how to start a family. Anyways, I've just always had a really strong stance about not having children, but recently I've been thinking about it and apparently I'm not so sure anymore. Let's sidetrack a little bit and get into this. Let's talk about this for a little bit. I work with a lot of older women who have families of their own. They have children, they have husbands. And for some reason, this has planted a seed in my brain that is making me think that I actually want children. Like, I feel like it's deceiving me in some way. Like, I see the way that these moms interact with their kids. And I'm like, whoa, that would be so nice to have like a little built-in BFF, like to raise somebody from scratch. How fun is that? There's so many preparations that need to be made 
when pursuing the decision to have a child. You need to find a partner. And divorce rates are so fucking high. It's literally like statistically a gamble to get married because it's like 50 50 half of the people that get married end up divorcing i feel like if i were to have a child i wouldn't want to subject them through a divorce that just seems like within my control so if i decide that i want to have a kid that means i need to like find a partner and like a suitable partner and that takes so much fucking time to like build that kind of relationship with somebody and then also career that's a big thing how can you even have a kid if you like can't support yourself financially let alone a fucking child that takes time also the window in which you can even bear a child because past a certain age our eggs expire Okay, like, I feel like if there wasn't this time constraint of when I could have a kid and I could have a kid, like, whenever I wanted to within my lifetime, I would do it, like, around the 40 age mark. Anything earlier than that, I feel like I need that time of my life for myself to, like, explore and, like, do everything that I want to do and also, like, mature as a person so that I can be the best possible version of myself to, like, nurture a new life this window of fertility <laughs> is really stressing me out because i'm like it takes time to have a kid it feels like i need to make this decision right now because everything that comes before it are like years and years of preparation also i have an iud so say i decide i do actually want to have a child but i want to have a child later on in my life and to ensure that i'm getting like the best quality eggs that i can produce like i need to freeze my eggs but then i would need to do it like right now and it's like it's too much. It's too much. I do not have my whole life to make this decision. I have within the next 10 years max to decide if I want to have a fucking kid or not. I don't want to regret anything. It's going back to the biggest fear that I have in life. I don't want to get to the end of my life and possibly the only thing that I regret is not having a kid. Being a mother is like such a special experience. Talking about this with other women, it has been expressed to me time and time again that being a mother is an experience like no other in this world. And I don't want to know that and make the decision to like not have this experience in my life and get to the end of my life and be like, fuck, I wish I had kids so that I could experience what it's like to be a mother. These are not the right reasons to want a kid. If I decide to have a kid, it needs to be for the right reasons and these are not it. I should not want to have a child because I don't want to regret not having a child or because I don't want to be lonely or because I have this fantasy of my child growing up and becoming my best friend. My opposition to, this is gonna get deep, for a second, so warning. But my opposition to having children is rooted in my own suffering. When I was a teenager, I was really, 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 really depressed. And from that, I developed this line of thinking that goes, I will never have a child because I do not want to subject them to the suffering that I'm going through right now. And I didn't get a choice in whether or not I was born. I was just kind of like put here. I don't want to like do that to somebody else, you know? Like I don't want to create life that like doesn't want to be here. <laughs> not saying that I don't want to be here anymore. Like loving life, living life, thriving. But like I was a teenager and I was not thriving. And also considering the way that our world is with just how like broken the systems are and technology i'm so grateful to be the last generation to have my childhood like the bulk of my childhood like not on the internet like i walk outside and i see parents just like shoving screens in front of their babies babies and i just get so sad because i'm like these babies are just like being shut up by like their parents putting a screen in front of them. Like what happened to like reading and like storytelling and like just like being present in the world and like looking at real life. Like, oh my God, it stresses me out so bad. And like brain development when you're a baby to child to like teenager, it's so fucking crucial. Technology hasn't been around long enough, I think, to actually show us how this stuff affects your brain, but 
I mean, I didn't get like my first device until I was like in eighth grade. So whatever that age is, but I have like severe phone addiction. I can feel the way it affects my brain and my brain is almost fully developed. And I also didn't even get introduced to the level of, I don't even know what to call it, the level of screen time that we have right now until like later on in my teenage years. This I sound so like grandma for this, but the way that we use technology really stresses me out when I think about having a kid. If I decide to have a kid, I will absolutely be that annoying fucking mom that would be like, you're not allowed to have a device until this age. But also it's like a safety thing as well to like make sure that your kid is fucking okay because like the world feels so unsafe these days, even though it's actually not. The world is actually more safe than it's ever been, but because we're always being fed bad news, we think that this, the world is like a really awful place, which I'm not saying that it's a really amazing place, but it's actually like the safest it's, it's ever been like in history. I mean, that just is like a testament to like, if there's not an effective way to regulate the stuff that a child sees, online, it's just gonna like, oh my God, I'm sorry, but it's gonna poison their brain and their development. I don't wanna have a kid if this is the world that we live in. Sorry, oh my God. This is not a world in which I feel like I wanna bring life into. There is only one reason that I've ever heard in my life that made sense to me for why I would ever have a child. I was talking about this with my boss and she told me that she wanted to start a family because she felt like she had so much love between her and her husband that the only place that she felt like it could go to was to another life, to having a child, to starting a family. Like she had so much love to give that the only place it felt right to share that love with was her children. <laughs> I heard this and I was like, I was completely struck by this. That is the best reason anyone has ever said to me for why to have a child. I don't wanna have a kid unless I feel like I have so much love to give that there's nowhere else for me to put it but into my own kid. All that to say, even though I'm at a point in my life where I do not fucking need to think about this, like I do not need to be having this inner dialogue with myself on whether or not I wanna have a kid. But by the pace that life is going by, it's making me feel like I do have to actually make this decision. This rush is bleeding into every area of life and I'm finding myself constantly living in the future. Every day I feel rushed to just check things off of my to-do list to complete this thing so that I can get on to the next and I'm never actually like fully involved in the thing that I am doing because I'm so worried about the next thing that I'm doing. But the problem with this is that if I'm constantly living in the future, I am not living in the present. And if my biggest fear in life is getting to the end of my life and feeling like I didn't live it to the fullest, then I am exactly feeding into the realization of not living my life to the fullest if I'm constantly living in the future. Do you know what I mean? If I'm not living in the present and I'm constantly worried about like things that haven't even happened yet, it's not even possible for me to enjoy my life. So if I keep up this behavior or this mind space, then I am going to get to the end of my life and look back on it and be like, what the fuck, I didn't enjoy my life. Despite this, I somehow have also been really nostalgic lately. And I think it's because I'm feeling resistant about aging and that's causing me to reminisce about the past, even times in my life where I know I wasn't having a good time. I have recently like wanted to go back to my teenage era and I literally just said when I was a fucking teenager, I was so depressed that I wanted to, but right now I'm like, oh my God, I wish I could go back to being a teenager. Like it, I was so carefree. I didn't have responsibility, like da, 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 da. But what it is, is that I want to go back to being a teenager knowing what I know now. I think this is an attempt at wanting to reclaim times in my life where I wasn't fully present or enjoying where I was at or fully living in that moment, which is fucking ironic because I'm guilty of doing that 
literally right now. I'm so wrapped up in what's gonna happen in the future and at the same time feeling nostalgic about my past that I'm literally living everywhere but right now. When I was a teenager, I felt like I knew everything. But the older I get, the less and less I feel like I know. I don't really know what that's about. I think maybe becoming aware of all the things that you don't know as an adult, it makes the world seem so vast and there's just no possible way for me to know everything. So how can I know anything at all? The more that I learn, the less I feel like I know because I'm aware of all the things that I didn't know. If this is making any sense, this is like really like a workout for my brain right now. <laughs> the older I've gotten and the more that I've learned, the less I feel like I know. I just need to allow myself to exist in this moment and to just take life as it comes. These things that I'm stressing over, they're gonna happen, period. Like they're gonna happen. There's no point in me stressing myself out over things that are inevitable. Like inevitably, I will come to a point in my life where I am prepared to make the decision on whether or not I wanna have a kid or if I wanna get married or blah, 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 all the things. But that's just not right now. Like I need to pull myself, I need to reel it in. It's not happening right now. So I don't need to worry about it right now. This mental block that I've, kind of had with feeling rushed has led me to severe overthinking. I've always been prone to overthinking. So this is not like new for me. It's just been on overdrive recently. It's, I feel like in some ways causing a little bit too much self-awareness and that self-awareness turns into me being hypercritical of myself. We're gonna get deep again. It has, I feel like kind of caused me to like fall out of love with myself. So I've kind of become aware that I don't really love myself right now, which sucks to say, but it just is what it is. I went through a period when I was like 21 where I finally understood what it meant when people say you cannot be loved by someone unless you love yourself first. Like I never understood what that meant. I was like, that's not possible. Like somebody can still love me even if I don't love myself. No, something clicked for me when I was 21 and I was like, I get it. And I was in a relationship at the time and I was like, I need to learn how to love myself before I am in any kind of relationship. So I ended that relationship and I went on this like self love journey and I learned how to love myself. And I kind of thought like that was it. Like once you learn how to love yourself, you're gonna love yourself for the rest of your life. But recently I've just noticed that I don't love myself or at least in the same way that I did when I was 21. Maybe it's not a matter of I don't love myself anymore. Maybe it's just like, I need to relearn how to love myself. Like I need to learn how to love this new version of myself because I'm not the same as how I was when I was 21. Everybody always talks about like loving yourself and learn how to love yourself and this, this and that. But I don't think I've ever heard anybody address that loving yourself is like something that you always need to be working on or like learning how to do. When I really think about it, it's kind of like when you're in a relationship, whether it's like romantic or friendship, when the relationship lasts for a certain amount of time, both people begin to change. And if you love someone and you wanna keep the relationship going, you kind of need to learn how to love them as they change. And you know what? I'm having this revelation right now. I kind of think it's the same thing with your relationship with yourself. Like you need to learn how to love yourself and then learn how to love yourself through the change. My God, why am I about to cry? <laughs> and you know what? I don't, I don't really know what you can do tangibly to learn how to love yourself again. I mean, I can tell you all the things that I did the first time, but it's always the same shit that I go back to. My advice is never really different. It's just the intention that you carry when you do these things will help with whatever the specific problem that is you're trying to solve. And I said this in my last video, meditation, reading, exercising, going outside, regulating screen time. Those are all the things that I did when I was learning how to love myself. I'm still doing all these things, but I guess moving forward, my intention should be self-acceptance and rekindling that love for myself. It's a long process. I guess I'm not really starting from the beginning. I'm just starting at a different point. I just kind of like came to that realization like right now. 
I've never really had a fear of aging before. I took this other class in college that was literally about aging and it was such an amazing class and it really reshaped the way that I perceived aging. Like I had an 80 year old professor and he was like, I'm so young. Like he called himself young and he was 80 years old. And I was like, that is so fucking cool. That professor just completely changed my perspective on aging and my resistance towards getting older is a very new thing. Like as of this year, I have developed this fear. I don't want this fear. I don't like this fear. I don't like that I have this. I just know that this is gonna happen. I, at some point, I'm gonna have a huge fucking crisis about my age, probably around the time that I turn 30. Because I like being young, bro. Like I like being gorgeous. I like being young. I like being fresh and fun. And like, I just see it in the cards for me that I'm gonna have a crisis. And then I'm gonna have this like huge epiphany and probably become like a super free spirit and like really embrace my age. And I don't know, I go through phases in life. Like the phases that I fucking go through are so intense. I get so intense about the phases that I go through. And I feel like this is one of them or at least it will become one of them. Ugh. Okay, anyway, this was really cleansing for me. I think that's all I got. I don't even know what the fuck I just said. Do I have anything else to say? I don't think so. I think that's it. I hope that you were able to take something out of this. Thank you for listening. I love you. Okay, bye, love you.